A former emergency room doctor at Children's Wisconsin asked a judge today to dismiss a charge of child abuse against him. Dr. John Cox is accused of injuring his then one month old daughter. The doctor says those accusations are not true. Sean Gallagher has more from the Public Safety Building. There is a gag order in place, so Dr. John Cox can't speak publicly about the case. But friends, family and former colleagues are speaking to us on his behalf. In court Wednesday, Dr. Cox's attorney said the state's criminal complaint left out important details from other medical experts, including the doctor that first saw his daughter. We have a complaint that's wrought with omissions that no neutral and detached magistrate could fairly determine whether or not probable cause has been established based on these omissions. It's effectively presenting only half of the facts. But prosecutors disagree. This defendant, by his own admission, after seeing the bruises on this child, admits to likely squeezing the child and inflicting the bruises. The judge denied Dr. Cox's motion to dismiss this case. The defendant was alone with this child. This child was injured in a way that the state's medical experts conclude reflects an intentional injury. That's the trial here. Before Wednesday's hearing, friends, family, and former colleagues of Dr. Cox told me they don't believe the allegations against him. Parents who are intentionally abusing their children do not then bring them in for medical care saying, I think I hurt this baby. Like that just doesn't fit for me. So that's where all that stacked, plus really knowing John's character, it just doesn't fit. For me and for many, many other people, John is a measuring stick of goodness. He is the person, he and Sadie, his wife, are the people to whom I aspire to put that amount of good into the world. And Dr. Cox is due back in court next week. Outside of the Public Safety Building, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.